In this screencast, I want to discuss spherical coordinates. I just want to emphasize a few points from lectures. So here's my uh, spherical coordinate system. Let us say I imagine a point here in R3, and I show Cartesian coordinates, x, y, z, and I also indicate its spherical coordinates, r, theta, and phi, okay, corresponding to this point. And I'll just let you stare at that figure. Um, well, let me just say, r is the distance from the origin to the point, so that's the r-coordinate. Phi is the angle that, that radial vector, if you want to think of that, that radial vector makes with the z-axis. And uh, theta is the is the angle that this point, when projected down onto the xy plane, it's the angle that that point makes with uh, from the x-axis. So that's those are the spherical coordinates. And the thing in particular that I want to discuss are these are these surfaces of uh, constant coordinates. So let's first do r is equal to a constant. So if we look at spherical coordinates and set r is equal to a constant, then we're going to get a sphere, which I won't draw to the same scale as this because it'll be too large if I do. But if I draw r is equal to a constant, that will produce for me a sphere. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and draw the x, y, the Cartesian coordinates um, related to that sphere. So there's um, so this is meant to be a, a sphere at constant r. All right, so I think that's the, the clearest one. Then I want to do this the plane at theta equal constant. Again, I think it's quite important for understanding the coordinate system. This time I'll start with the Cartesian coordinates. And I'm going to draw. Um, the, the, the surface where theta is equal to a constant. Well, this surface is, I hope you can see it from here, it's a plane, actually, so let's do that. There's, there's a, um, a line at constant theta, another one, and so they're half planes. Obviously, it extends to infinity, but I'm just drawing it here. So this is, uh, it's a half plane at some angle theta. And what I want to emphasize is this plane, that this, that that's the same plane that's drawn here, and this angle, phi, lives in that, pl in that plane. And you should kind of think about that and study that. All right, and then the final one would be if uh, phi is equal to a constant. Let's pull this down slightly. And in this case, let me, again, oh, sorry, let me just first draw the Cartesian coordinates. It'd be easier to make the sketch. Now, if I draw phi is equal to a constant and now allow th uh, theta and r to vary, that will give me a cone, okay? So do you see that that's, uh, that's my angle phi in there? So phi is a constant, but, but both r and uh, theta are allowed to vary. I get r varying makes me go up and down this way, and theta varying takes me around in circles, and collectively they trace out a cone. All right, so those are the three sur uh, surfaces corresponding to constant um, coordinates and spherical coordinates. I think what's also instructive is to, let's see if I can do this, I might have to move this over. I want to draw with, with pairs of these uh, equal to a constant, let me attempt to do that. So I think what I'll do is, in, in I want to draw two pairs. In both cases, I want to consider r is equal to a constant. So the sphere, I won't draw the lines on it. And then I want to consider uh, also the plane theta is equal to a constant. And those will then intersect. All right, so along this, along this curve that I've just drawn here, both r is equal to a constant and theta is equal to a constant, and only phi varies. And let me indicate that this way. So this is and phi increases this way. So th this is a curve of constant r, let me label that, r constant and theta constant. And that gives me, in fact, just a curve, and that's the variation in theta, excuse me, in phi. All right, and let's do the other one. I want to have r is e equal to a constant, and phi is equal to a constant, in which case I get, we already did this problem of a cone intersecting a sphere, and those will be circles, such as this, right? And so, uh, again, let me just label r as a, co a constant, phi as a constant, and here uh, theta varies. And I think finally I'll just emphasize that again theta varies over a full 2 pi, whereas phi only varies from naught to pi. Then the one final thing, let me just emphasize, is if you have any difficulties with this, get yourself a globe. Go look at a globe, look at a globe, at least pictures on the internet, and think about it. Theta corresponds to rotation about the axis. This, this is increasing in theta, is in this direction, okay, and again it goes full 2 pi around, so if you start someplace, you can go all the way 2 pi around. These are, this is the set of, of curves that I previously drew where phi is equal to a constant and r is equal to a constant. See this curve I'm pointing to? All right. And phi then uh, 
is in this direction, increasing. Phi is 0 at the North Pole and increases to, to pi at the South Pole. And you can get to uniquely to any point on the globe by specifying a value of theta between 0 and 2 pi and a value of phi between naught and pi. If you want to go anywhere on the globe, um, let's do it this way. So first you pick an angle that you go around, and that could be in theta. That could be any angle from naught to 2 pi. Pick uh, this place here. And then you go down in, in phi. You only go down to some point, and then you stop. You don't go around the other side, because if you were going to go around the other side, you would have just picked a different value of theta to begin with. Anyway, think about it and study it. In uh, a subsequent screencast, I'm going to discuss the, the areas and volumes of these elements, but this is just to uh, discuss the, the coordinate system.